Hello and welcome to the Fibonacci free video for Monday, January 24th. Now, um, I'm starting with a look at Microsoft today because look, when we get these dramatic moves, which are outside of all proportion to what we've seen leading up to it, right? So um, really out of proportion to this bounce and this bounce, um, it's really tough to use proportionality to those moves uh, right to to figure out where we might find support in this move down, um, and of course breaking through um, prior important swings like this one. Uh, back here in early October make it very difficult to find support using um, using retracements of prior moves up right moves up which terminated here at a voodoo fire line the most important of the voodoo lines levels which are here and stable on our charts usually for years right so this has been here for a long long time in Microsoft well before it ever got up to these all-time highs um, to find it for resistance likewise Likewise, these tree lines, the second most important of the levels, including the tree line here at today's low of the day, right after a significant sell off, right, and an equally significant rebound, it's this snow line that held up this name, right? This is why we do uh, look to <laughs> the voodoo lines to help out because when we're in situations where fib levels don't work as well as they might in other circumstances these voodoo line levels uh often do now the best performance is going to when is going to come when we can combine the two but as i said it's this market environment when we're getting very steep sell-offs right or or very steep advances without many wiggles in them that uh, that are useful for typical Fibonacci extensions, right? Those are places where um, the voodoo lines particularly shine. So um, look, I'm not inclined to think that um, that the bull market is immediately resuming. Um, I'm inclined to treat this as um, a, a dead cat sort of bounce, um, the sort of bounce that um, that we see is, is sort of a face ripping rally in a bear market. We'll, uh, we'll dig more into the reasons for that and expectations in the premium video. But certainly if we can get uh, a recovery back above this upper voodoo tree line, um, closer to 302.50 um, general area, if we can uh, see Microsoft hold support above there, not just print above and drop, then, um, uh, then perhaps it's recovering. But as I mentioned, that is not my going to be my default presumption. Similarly, we can come in, take a look at names uh, like Apple, also rebounding right directly from its Voodoo tree line after using the Voodoo fire line for support. Again, not great levels to project uh, down here, not very proportional to them, but reversing right at the voodoo tree line. Um, and we can go on and on to see names today that we're bouncing from support. Uh, these are just a few in here. I'd want to see, um, the name get above 165 or so before even starting to think things might be clear. And again, of course, uh, starting to see, um, uh, hold support above that level not just print there um, in order to have some confidence so that's what we have here for this evening I will see you at the next update without simpler trading I could not have financial independence this is one of the best investments I ever made in my life it's helping me find consistency it's one of the things that won me over